Izina yanjye ni Sharon, nyene myaka mwenda. Ni kunda kushoma, ahabwo kuba ni nshoma kanu kunda munonga, nje bandiyo mu karasi, ntaho mutuma nshoma, nshoma je munonga. The way of teaching now, we are firm, we are friendly with the pupils, and even we are friendly with the content of teaching because we are trained in it. We are doing something of which we feel we can and indeed we can do it because we are teaching in our local language. The sounds we learn in our local language, they are the real sounds we use in the second language, which is English. So it is very simple for us to change from our local language to English. And the, such things of what we teach are surrounding our environment. We have seen a very great improvement, mostly in fluency, in writing, now so pupils like their school. Yes. My pupils are more confident. They answer the question in a full sentence, knowing that what they are answering, they know it. Hey. Okay, this is the trophy which we got after reading competitions. We were 10 schools. It was for P2 and P3 classes. So it is Natkunda Sharon who won the competitions, both in a local language reading and English. I salute sharp because now every child, even in P1, can stand up and read. Parents actually have changed the attitude because it was very hard for us to tell them that the children should learn in the local language. So when they saw their children reading, they said, wow, now our children, even in UPE schools, universal primary education, who, where we thought children do nothing, now can read and write. We shall perform the best, and we salute you really. Atenya on family zo kaha ishomere vinya direyo na watga mbero kuto akwa sakuere nda ukogo vutsaga zwombi aroko kuto akwa sakuere nda nguvuta shisha magaraga itu atenya kuhunkwa nalga kaha ishomero aho na ho mama tija aho akwa jire mbemo gambera kujarangu ampuere. Ndeva chige chini tu chironji mnoongo. Aijanya shongo, jivye shongo, vya esefayo kwe vatambi. Mpuja na vikundu. Nyona na kuzire na shome na herzi. Na jire na diguri. Ninyenda kubaroya. Deru mkafu na senta mkombe chera wazire vanzi. It takes a village to educate a child. We are passing on this message as we are encouraging a generation of health readers. It is a community, it is a school, it is a parent. So the community is the support system around a family that can speak as peers to the parents of that family. So working with communities to show that actually girls' education is, is good for the entire family and the community, to raise role models within the community and, from, and, and champions for girl education within communities has helped to increase the visibility of girls in school and encouraging girls to stay in school. These kinds of programs are necessary to come in, not really to take over government responsibility, but to give a push up. We have taken it to primary teachers colleges. We have a National Curriculum Development Center. We have Uganda National Examinations Board. We bring them all together at national level and we have a coordination unit. We also involve the local government stakeholders for purposes of ownership 
and for purposes of sustainability. We at USAID really believe that if children can be educated in a way that is meaningful, that teaches them to read and think for themselves, that the sky is the limit for the country of Uganda. And we also believe that girls need special attention in school and that violence against them needs to stop so that they too can realize their potential. Because once girls are more involved in the economy and more involved in uh, the life of what goes on in this country, Uganda is going to be a much richer place for everyone. We, we have the future of Uganda!